This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Google Earth. In this segment, we're going to look briefly at places. Now, when you go around in Google Earth, you may visit a lot of places, and some of those you might want to go back to. So as you can see here, here's the Places tab. Click on the arrow to drop it down or close it up. Now, you can see I have a few places here. Detroit, Michigan, Elizabeth, Colorado, Gallatin, Tennessee, places that I've lived. And to create a place, you simply have to drop a placeholder there. So we'll click on Add. I'm at Mackinac Island, Michigan. Add a place mark there. Type in a name for it. Click OK. And now you see it appears under My Places. So now when you load Google Earth, if you want to go visit your places, if I want to go to Elizabeth, Colorado, I just have to double click on it and we fly over to Elizabeth. If I want to go back to Detroit, we'll fly to Detroit just by clicking on it. Now you can save your places into folders and save them as an external file. And one reason you might do this is because when you get so many places in there, it makes Google Earth a little slow to load. But we'll cover that in future tutorials. This is a great way to have places that you can go back and forth to at will when you load Google Earth. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to listen to all 10 parts.